Hello YouTube and welcome to this next tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to play any audio file into your Xcode project. So um, what I mean by that is if we will add in a soundtrack, a web file, and we will be manipulating it with buttons. So there will be a play button so you can play the file and there will be a stop button so you can stop the soundtrack. So it's pretty simple to do, just simply follow the way I do it and you'll be guaranteed it will work. So click iOS and we'll click on single view application and click next. This one will be audio player tutorial. As usual, call yours whatever you decide to. Language is set to Swift. Devices is set to Universal and click next. Save it somewhere, you save it wherever you decide to, as I always say in every video. And we're gonna untick landscape left and landscape right and tick requires full screen. And deployment target will be ticked to 9.3. Now we're gonna drag in this audio file over here. So this is called android.wav, it's a web file. So let's click play and listen to it really quickly. So this is the, um, that's the audio um, that I'm gonna playing. It's obviously it's not the best one out there, but this will get the job done for this video. So drag that into your project and tick copy items if needed and create groups is also ticked and click finish. So go down to your main storyboard and we're gonna drag in a button. So drag in a button over here and this one will say play. So this will say play sound and we can copy and paste it con command C and command V and the next one will say oops this one will say stop sound. So these two buttons will, will um, manipulate this, the sound playing and stopping. Now we're gonna bring out our assistant editor and again if you are desi this will this um all of this will work on already existing applications you don't have to create an entirely new app just to get it working. But if you want to, just go ahead and do it. If you want to, I'm just showing you how to do it from scratch as well. But um, in our view to load here, we're gonna um before we can um do any coding, we're gonna um implement in our um AV audio um framework. So go to your build phases, and we're gonna add in AV Foundation. So go link binary with libraries, and we're gonna import in AV Foundation dot framework. So add that in and make sure status is required because we need that. That is very important. And we can now um, go to our viewcontroller.swift. And here we're going to um, import our framework. So import AV Foundation. And we're going to add in a new delegate. So AV Audio Player Delegate. Like so. And we're also going to do um, var player colon AV audio player equals AV audio player and then two um, brackets over there and we're gonna now next we're gonna do um do so type in do as in do and we're gonna do um, open parentheses and space that out and what we're gonna do here is to let audio player equals bundle dot main dot path and this will say for resource and this will be um two speech marks for now and off type we can we will enter in android and then wav the reason why i type in android is because my file over here is named android and my file extension which is wav is also dot wav so that the file extension has to be separate from the name or else it will not work next i'm going to try and player equals AV audio player bracket content of bracket NS URL bracket file URL with path audio player and then add an exclamation mark bracket close bracket as URL and then bracket again then we're gonna do catch so do catch and then do the same thing with a um with the par open parentheses, and this one will um will do um error, just like that. 
Now we're gonna um we're gonna now do um IB actions for our button. So go over um back to our main storyboard and we're gonna um bring up our assistant editor so that it becomes easier to link up. So go over here and underneath our var player we're gonna make some room and do at IB action and F U N C funk. This will be play bracket underscore sender colon any and then um bracket space that out and then we're gonna do the same thing command c and paste it command v this will say stop so this is for stopping the, our sound effect and we're gonna be linking up these two with our um button so link that up to our play button and this one is not being detected for some reason. Let me kind of do that again. There we go. So now it has showed up, and we're gonna link that up to our stop sound. Also, make sure um, make sure your breakpoints are deactivated. If you clicked on this by accident, it will activate a breakpoint. Let's so make sure that it's deactivated. Now we want to um, we want to play. So we will do audio player or sorry player dot play so this will play um our audio file now our this one is going to stop our audio so let's do let's copy and paste it and this time replace it with stop so these are all um these are all um, manipulating the play button and the stop button so when we click the play button which is linked to this ib action over here it will run player.play and will play um the soundtrack so it's pretty simple as you as you've seen so let's click play run our simulator and let's test our um application wait for this wait for the storyboard to load up oh and I, I forgot I forgot something we need to stop and we need to set iPhone 7 plus to iPhone 7 because the screen that we built for is for iPhone 7 simulator the size so let me quit and let's retry again so yeah, sorry about that. If just in case you forgot, just simply set that to iPhone 7. Click simulator and it can take a bit for it to load up, so I'll just um sit and wait for this to load the application. So yeah, it can take quite a while. But as you see, it is a success, and let's check it out. So play. If we stop the sound, it will stop the sound. We play again, it will, it will resume. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty that's pretty um simple. So it is now playing this file over here, which is Android.web. If I play it and test it out. See, that is the same thing that we played just now. So, as you can see, let me get rid of the assistant editor. So, as you see, it was really very simple. All you needed was some, some IB actions, and we needed to do declare, and then we needed to import framework, and then do some programming here. So, yeah, but that was pretty much um, very simple to do, but um, it is very helpful if you want to add in music or soundtracks to your game or app. So, again, leave a like and subscribe if this tutorial helped you out. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.